All right, in this video, we're going to go over some cool automations you can do with the Alexa Media Player uh, custom component. Um, we can send uh, sounds or text to speech or whatever you want. Hope you enjoy. So to begin, we're going to decide what we want to automate. But as always, we've got to go to automations. We're going to add a new one. Create new. Even though I don't have one, let's say you have a door sensor or a doorbell. I will um, try to see if I can find one here we can use as an example. Probably do a motion sensor. I'm just going to use this motion sensor because it's going to work the same way. And as always, even if I don't use them, I always like to have IDs. We'll just do it. We'll just call this one doorbell. And there's two different things we can do here. We can either call a service to say, hey, someone's at the doorbell, and we do that by doing this. Alexa, and we go send notification, and the message will be uh, doorbell, ring, and under data, we'll go type, TTS. Go ahead and hit save. Just do it as that for now. But we also forgot. We got to pick a target. Which is gonna be media player. Oops, player dot. We'll just do the office echo show. Hit save. Let's test it. Doorbell rang. There you go. Now there's the first part. All right. So now we're going to take it one step further. We're going to call service. We're going to do play media. Oh, where's it at? There we go. Choose the entity, and we're going to do the same one. We're going from the office. Go show. And we will do this. And you can actually do them from here. You just got to kind of scroll through and figure out whichever one you want and kind of do them in the same, um, same uh, template or um, type. So there's that. The content type is actually going to be a sound. And you can either make it wait, add it to Q, do whatever, but we're just going to go ahead and leave it as is. All right, so now we're going to reorder these. Move this up, get this down, exit, add action. Let's just say we'll wait two seconds. The order, move up, exit. So now we're gonna make it ding, wait two seconds, and say one is definitely at the door. If I can spell Aiden right. Is moving around in his crib. And there's another automation I have. <laughs> Save. And let's go ahead and give it a run. So, run. Someone is definitely at the door. And there you go. There's a few more that you can do. Like, if it's a show, you can um, make an image pop up. So, let's say you have a camera pointed at your front door. You can, some cameras have like, I don't want to really say live images because that's, that's a bad example, but um, 
some cameras will allow you to do that. But it all depends. Um, again, this is just supposed to get you started. I hope this was useful and have a good day.